in strength of materials or structural applications we will generally see a term called homogeneous materials okay let us see what is homogeneous material in the theory what it says is if the property of a material at every point is same it is called as a homogeneous material it is called as a homogeneous material let us see a simple example for homogeneous material just look at this it is a some squares i have shown here you can see this figure is this outer square is made up of 16 squares smaller squares okay so for this square the property is 50 by 50 50 by 50 or it has an area of 2500 square units for this also same this also same this also everywhere at any point you take the property is same it's uh, dimension same so the area is same so this is an example for a homogeneous material in two dimensions example for homogeneous material in two dimensions now look at this here we have some you can see some cubes are here okay so i have made it into three dimension so this its base is uh, 50 by 50 height is also 50 so in three dimension everywhere the dimensions are same here also it is 50 by 50 by 50 here also it is 50 by 50 by 50 if you consider this one it is also 50 by 50 by 50 uh, any point you say you take it is 50 by 50 by 50 okay so this material is called as a homogeneous material it is called as a homogeneous material what is the speciality of a homogeneous material at any point the property of the material will be same property of the material will be same so in structural applications or in uh, strength of materials applica material applications uh, you can consider the property as anything like young's modulus poisson's ratio or uh, stress by stress or strain whatever you want to consider those properties of the material at any point will be same every point will be same that is called as a homogeneous material okay so now, now let us see what is an isotropic material an isotropic material means its property in all the direction will be the same okay that means see take this square its property the length or this dimension is say 50 in this direction also it is 50 okay so you know in both these directions the properties are same so if you consider it as young's modulus in this direction say it's uh, if it is made up of steel it will be 2.1 into 10 to 5 newton per mm square so in this direction also it will be say 2.1 into 10 is to 5 newton per mm square even if you consider another uh, direction say like this in this direction at an angle with the uh, either horizontal or vertical there also the young's modulus must be same or in general the uh, property must be same in all the directions now if we consider it uh, in the 3d then also for an isotropic material the properties in this direction or properties in this direction or properties in the vertical direction all these three direction that is x y and z directions must be same then such a such a material is called as a 
called as an isotropic material isotropic material okay so this is uh, both homogeneous and isotropic because its properties are same uh, throughout the body of the material that is here it is same same uh, at all points it is same and also in both the directions it is same okay so that is this material or this uh, material made up of the, the square blocks they, are, they can be termed as a homogeneous material homogeneous and a isotropic material because in all the directions it is same in uh, at, at all the points it is same now let us let us see another example in which i have made a square using rectangles small small rectangles you can see here okay so the dimension of the of one of the smaller rectangle is 50 by 25 50 by 25 okay and at every point the same rectangle is being put to make the whole square okay so can you say what type of material is this as uh, with the information we have already got earlier what type of material will be this one is it a homogeneous material is it yes it is a homogeneous material because the property of the elements or, or the points is same at every point you can see because here if you consider this as one point the property is width uh, length is 50 then width is 25 if you consider here it is or, or say here it is also 50 by 25 if you consider it here it is also 50 by 25 if you consider here it is also 50 by 25 okay so this is a homogeneous material but, but what about the isotropy or isotropic uh, property is it iso is it an isotropic material no it is not an isotropic material because what is isotropic material the a material should have the properties in all the directions same so if you consider this element of the material this is 50 and this is only 25 that means this property uh, or, or property in this direction is not same as the property in this direction anywhere if you consider the point the, the, any point if you consider this one this is 50 and this is 25 if you consider this one this is 50 this is 25 so the property in uh, the two directions are not same are not same so this is not is it's a, a non-isotropic material but it is a homogeneous material it is a homogeneous non-isotropic material okay now now let us see a non-homogeneous non-isotropic material what will be that it should not be homogeneous and it should not be isotropic so non homogeneous non isotropic material okay so what will be a non homogeneous non isotropic material for that its properties at all the points must be different okay so i have made a, a rectangle with a, some these are all rectangles say all are rectangles with the different 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 dimensions not even a single element is having same dimension okay so if this is a considered this element is considered its uh, breadth is more and width, width the, or, or length is uh, lesser smaller here also here also okay so there is no homogeneity that means for homogen for a homogen for a material to be homogeneous the properties at all the points must be same say here it is different here it is different here it is different at every point or for any every element 
the properties are different. Or at each point, the property is different for this material. So, this material is termed as a non homogeneous material. Non homogeneous material. Then, what about the isotropic property? Say, for, iso for, a, for a material to be isotropic, what is the condition? Its properties in all the directions must be same. Its properties in all the directions must be same. That is, in the, in the, in the x direction and y direction it is to be same in 2D. If it is in 3D, in the z direction also, it should be same. But here, for if you consider this one, this particular, particular element, the x direction, the length is say 10 centimeter, then the y direction will be around 20 centimeters. For this, for another one, consider this one. For x direction, it is say uh, 150 and this will be around say 100. So, the properties in these two directions are not same. What about this one? Same. Or what about this one? It is also different because this is these are having two different dimensions. So that means the isotropic property is not being exhibited by this material. Okay. For a material to be isotropic, you need to have a material with the same properties in different directions. Same properties in different directions. If you measure the distance from say diagonally, from this diagonal to this diagonal, that will not be same as for this element, say from here to here, it will be different. Say for this also, it will be different. For every point, it will be different or in different directions, different properties are there. For, so, this is, this can be called as a, as a non-isotropic material. And as the material properties are different at each point, it is also a non-homogeneous material or a heterogeneous material. It can be called as a mixture. Okay, it's having different uh, type of elements or different type of material uh, mixed together. So, this is a non-homogeneous, non-isotropic material. Okay, I uh, hope it is clear. So, this is a homogeneous and uh, isotropic material because its properties are same at all points and property in each direction is same. And this is a homogeneous but non-isotropic material. Why? Because this is, this material is having properties at each point same. Okay. Each point it is same because it is having 50 by 25. It is also 50 by 25. This is also 50 by 25. So, it is same. But in each direction, it is not same. So, this is a homogeneous but non-isotropic material. And here it is non-homogeneous, non-isotropic. Okay. Yeah.